Welcome to Disney A, the Canadian-themed Disney travel podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Krista. And I'm Brandon. Hey, this is our last episode before Christmas. Tree is trimmed, stockings hung, gifts are under the tree, and we are turning on Disney Plus to squeeze in a few shorts. Happy Christmas! Yay! Oh, I, I missed Happy my Christmas. cue. Happy Christmas. <laughs> you did. When Disney released its season streamings list in November, there was season a sec- streaming. Season uh, streaming. Season streaming. Season streaming. Season streaming. Season streaming. Season streaming. It's, it's there a was a section a called Jolly Shorts. So this week we're going to chat about those shorts. And you identified with this section. Because I am jolly and short. Yes. <laughs> we're going to decide which ones are the most and the least jolly. They're all pretty jolly. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're saying holiday spirit is being judgmental, I guess? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, ask Scrooge. He was judged very harshly. Before we get to that, though, Brandon, what is your current nerd thing? Lots of things. It's Christmas time. It's very nerdy. Like what? Well, I I think I talked about this before, but I've worn a holiday sweater mm-hmm. to work every day this month. Yours is particularly nerdy again this Yes, and today, today I am wearing an Avengers ugly Christmas sweater. Yes. But it's beautiful because it's it the Avengers. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Yes, it has Very all the festive. original Avengers on it. Ho, ho, ho. Smash. Hulk, Hulk smash. Hulk smash. Yes, exactly. And and such. Mm-hmm. Yes, very nice. And what are you drinking? No, you, Speaking of... Your turn. You have to tell me. Oh, I like Christmas. We went to a wine tasting tonight. That was nerdy. Okay. Because we learned about wines. Yeah, what kind of wine was it? Sparkling wine. And we learned about, like, different, um, I don't know, like, codes and stuff on wines and things like that. Yeah, that was that was the Prosecco, and I, I think it's an EU thing where they can, hmm. they put different regulations on it, and, and the one we had was the highest ranking because it was a Ooh, su- fancy. superior DOCG. It just sounds like letters. Yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, it's my, I'm wrapping up school before the break and everything is chaos and lots of like Romeo and Juliet stuff going on. I'm sure on the children are working very hard. Super hard. Well, actually, they kind of are. They're panicking. It's a panic. It's a panic thing. They need their towel. It's true. Actually, we're reading Hitchhiker's Guide <laughs> to the Galaxy in one of my classes. Um, yeah, so it's just all, it's all that. It's all that. What are you drinking? Okay, so what am I drinking? I'm I'm having another selection from my advent calendar. Oh, yes. And this is the Hop Commander mm. IPA. Ooh, an IPA. Very, well, it's going to be very hoppy IPA. Mm-hmm. So let's uh, let's give her a taste. Ah. Ooh, that. Oh, oh, whoa. Yeah, it's aptly named. Very oh. hoppy. Mm-hmm. Would you like a taste as well? I would actually. I smell it from here. <laughs> oh, we. Oh no, that is very hoppy. I don't, that's a little hoppy for me right now. Yeah, I mean, you had a lot of wine. That might be a good beach one. Yeah. I, I, I do like hops on the patio or beach. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am drinking a gin for my gin advent calendar with water. Lots of water. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Yeah. You seem you seem a little loopy. A little bit, yeah. This is going to be, uh, yeah, we just came from the wine tasting, so. You're, you're filled with Christmas spirit. That is true. Okay. <laughs> Hawkeye episode five. What did you think? Spoiler free. Yes. Um, so my my suggestion would be if you care about spoilers, you might want to start watching Marvel things now, right now, <laughs> right um, now, now, now. Yesterday. Go, go, go. Ye- yesterday. Go. Um, yeah. Do it. There's. Yeah. Y- if you don't want spoilers, you basically can't be on the internet for the next week. At least. At least. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, oh. Anyway, the, lots of. Lots of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, stuff. Uh, and things. Interconnectedness with, oh, man. with uh, the MCU as a whole, so that I always like that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like the payoff from like watching all the things. Yeah, it, it makes you feel like you're investing in this series, and mm-hmm. and, it, and it's, it's rewarding that investment. With Yay. Some, like, you can watch it and not have done this, and it's still fine. But the little bits and Easter eggs extra make you feel good, so mm-hmm. I think it's I think it's done well that way. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, and if you hadn't watched all these things, then it would be terrible. I don't know, but I but like we it. don't know that because we have watched all the things. So mm-hmm. yay. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about you? Um, I really really liked it, and I'm very concerned about the next episode. The last episode. Yeah, I'm concerned about it. 
Um, I don't know if I'm good concerned or bad concerned, but there's much concern. This just, was really just insane. Just of the quality or? No. Nope. Nope, nope, so the things Char- that are going to happen. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, we woke up really early to watch that one. Not on purpose. I, no, no, we yeah. were awake, and then we decided, well, we're up, let's watch this episode. Yes, yeah, so I've been I've been battling slight insomnia this yep. this month, and uh, it, it, it came again. I was awake at 4 a.m., and I was like, well, there's a Hawkeye episode. <laughs> let's, u- let's use the insomnia for good, not yeah, evil. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. All right, so I think that takes us to the news. Disney A News Update. Okay, couple news items. Um, we just, like today, announced there's going to be a celebration month for Magic Key Holders. Celebrate and... good times. Come on. Do, yeah. do, do. February. Right. Which is good. I if the world is still... Yeah, well... Yeah, we're... anyway. No, that's beside the point. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and da, 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 da. speaking of magic key holders, there's been a lawsuit filed against Disney that alleges Disneyland's resorts magic key program deceptively advertises no blockouts despite reservation difficulties. I, I can see why this lawsuit was filed and I figured yep. it was probably coming. Yep. They won't win. No. Um, because they had very strong foolproof fine print that said, yeah. Uh, reservations uh yeah so um I, i'm not surprised but uh disney's lawyers are ready for this and are yeah, of are, course they are. are rubbing their hands gleefully to make their <laughs> their retainer fees right uh, apparently it's a five million dollar lawsuit and yeah so that's happening um there was a power power outage that caused serious disruptions at disneyland resort because it of course Everything runs on power, so several oh, attraction. It? Yeah, that's how I that works. thought it ran on seven dwarfs. Well, okay, that is incorrect. Mm. <laughs> Small woodland what? creatures that you sing to. That one mostly singing the power of song. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. But basically, it backed everything up, and people were stuck for a long time on different attractions well the the benefit would be if you were stuck on an attraction like say it's a small world and the power went out at least you would not have to hear the song over and but over Brandon, and over and it's over it's a world of laughter and a world of tears and a world of hopes no and okay no. also <laughs> guests at Disneyland Park can now have the ability to book a special celebration package in Mickey's Toontown so, if you want to book a private party in Mickey's house... You can squat in Mickey's house. You can hang out with the big cheese himself. Cheese. Smells. Get it? It's funny. Mice don't actually like cheese. Fun mm-hmm. fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what do you think of that? Do you want to have a party in Mickey's Toontown? I, no, I don't. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm glad they're closing it down and fixing it. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And uh, that's the major news for this week, so I think that takes us to the main topic. Okay. Well, we're going to talk Spider-Man, but there, we haven't seen it yet, so... spider That Well, I was going to say, Spider-Man is coming out. Yeah, but it's coming out. And, uh... We're going to see it on Friday. Re- early reviews and reactions are very positive, so I'm looking greatly forward to it. Yep. And I think it's going to be a big deal. I'm so excited. <laughs> a big deal. We've been eagerly following along with all the speculation... And it's been a lot theories. of fun, actually. It, it has been fun. We've avoided any actual spoilers, but speculating is, is, is so much fun. Really fun. So, yeah. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. So, we're recording this on a Thursday, and we're like counting down the hours to Spider Man. Yeah. I mean, so uh, showings to the general public started today for preview night. We are going tomorrow. Yes. Very excited. It's holiday time. So, Brandon, Jolly Shorts, your name for Krista. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time. Okay. <laughs> Fair. So, there are four Jolly Shorts that were listed on this this year's season streamings. Last year, we kind of did a look at a bunch of, like, feature films. Yeah. So, this year, Jolly Shorts. And this is a very short list. <laughs> uh, okay. So, you're provi- four. Provided by Disney itself. Yes. This uh-huh. year for their Disney Plus Day or whatever. Right? Right. So the four options are Olaf's Frozen Adventure, Pluto's Christmas Tree, Prep and Landing, and Deck the Halls 
or Duck the Halls, mm. a Mickey Mouse Christmas special. Autocorrect got you there, didn't it? Autocorrect totally got me there. Uh, you usually, called... you, you autocorrect, I never mean duck, except this time. <laughs> except this time. <laughs> the one time I actually mean duck. <laughs> Um, we had, well, I had seen three of the four of these before. You had seen two of the four of these before. We rewatched all of them. We rewatched, well, we, we, we watched all we of watched, them. We watched, we watched. We watched. We watched, we watched. Yes. Okay. Brandon, what we are going to do okay. is we are going to go from four to one. Four to one. Ranking. Are what? you ready? Ranking. Oh, this is too much stress. It is. It's so much stress. Okay. Start with four and you're going Very first. Very judgmental for the festive yeah, season. Yeah, I know. What's I, with that about? I don't know. Okay, well, for me, this is actually probably going to be pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I love them all. They were all decent. Uh, no, I love them But all. my fourth place one is the oldest one. <gasps> no. Y- yes. Okay. <laughs> Pluto's Christmas Tree. It's the oldest one. It is a classy, classic Mickey cartoon. But I... It, I only kind of liked it. So it's a classic Mickey cartoon, um, but I don't think it's aged super well. Right. Uh, I like that it focuses on Pluto, mm-hmm. but it, it, it Pluto has like a bad time and and Chip and Dale are kind of jerks. <laughs> and so, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, it, it didn't seem very Christmassy to me. I was like, mm. the, the bad eggs got to have fun and had a nice Christmas and poor Pluto who was just trying to protect his Christmas tree uh, got in trouble and I don't know yeah I didn't I I did not 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 really my thing okay so I got really upset when you said that um but the thing is we this is it's a small list it's a small list none of these are bad it wasn't it wasn't bad, but I didn't like the plot and I didn't like Chip and Dale in it. Right. Now here's my thing. The thing I love about Pluto's Christmas Tree is actually not from Pluto's Christmas Tree, but from the Disney Sing Along's old movies. No, we didn't watch that though. No no no, I understand that. But all the clips from a lot of the songs, especially for like oh, I don't know, Deck the Halls and stuff, are taken from Pluto's Christmas Tree. So every time I think of Pluto's Christmas Tree, I actually think of Deck the Halls. But here's the thing. I agree with you. I think it's the weakest of the four. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if it's just like an age thing, but yeah, so I'm going to agree with you. It's 100% an age thing. Like, but it makes me really sad to agree with you. Well, I mean, when you're right, you're right. Okay, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> number three, what did you have? <sighs> number three, number three. Okay, uh, this is where I struggle between number two and number three, mm. I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I'm going to go with Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Really? Okay. Um, I quite like this. Mm-hmm. I like how well it meshes with the actual Frozen movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it has a lot of good callbacks, and all the characters are, like, in a good place still. It's the best. It's, like, one of the best Frozen shorts. It's true. And there's been a few now. There has been quite a few now, and some of them are not great. Um, but the song is really good, and it's good. Which song do you like out of it? Because there's a couple. Yeah, there is a couple. But, like, the main song, which Olaf, Olaf song? sings um, about that Happy time Mary, of year. Happy Mary, joyful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really good, and, like, trying to gather traditions and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a fun, it's a fun concept, and mm-hmm. I, I, I really like it. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm actually going to go prep and landing for this one. Okay. Yeah, for number three. Um, I really liked it. I was very pleasantly surprised. So I watched it for the first time last year and very pleasantly surprised yes. with it. Yes. We, we heard that it was worth watching and it looked yeah. like a bad knockoff DreamWorks mm-hmm. thing. But no, it's Disney and not that DreamWorks has bad stuff, but some of their stuff yeah. is bad knockoff. Anyway. Um, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I, I thought it was just for dumb thing for kids, but it's actually, it, yeah, it is. It's good. really well done. Mm-hmm. I liked it. We watched it again. I really liked it again. Mm-hmm. I liked it the um, second time just as much. Just as much. I'm just, I uh, like the other two things better. Literally, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I liked it. I just like the other two things better. The okay. other two will stick with me more. Stick with itness. So, okay. Um, 
for my number two mm-hmm. is Prep and Landing. Okay. Um, and this is where I was debating back and forth between Olaf and Prep mm-hmm. and Landing. And I, I agree with you that they're both good, but Prep and Landing will stick with me because the whole theme of it is like, it, it's kind of like corporate culture and and trying to find yourself mm-hmm. in your job and things like that. So that kind of spoke to me. So it would, it right, would right. stick with me a little well, bit more. Well, you like work in the business world, yeah. so maybe that resonated a little bit more. And, and like in a fun way, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Super fun. I, I am a particular fan of the mugs they keep drinking out of in the office. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, no. Uh, I thought it was super cute. and. Okay, so I had a serious problem between one and two. I didn't. Really? Nope. No. No. I, well, I mean, that doesn't surprise me, honestly. Okay, so... It, it surprised me when I watched it, but I did not have a problem. Okay, so... Because, I mean, I only have one left, right? So. <laughs> my second one was actually Duck the Halls. Hmm. I put that one a second. Um, it was very pleasantly surprised with it. I really enjoyed all the little Easter eggy call back flash. Oh, and also, when was the last time you saw Ludwig von Drake in anything? Well, yes, ex- exactly. I no. Mm-hmm. No, so I liked it. Uh-huh. I just, I don't know. I just really like the songs from the other one. <laughs> so you're a sucker for the. Happy for Mary, Adina joyful. and Zell coming in and belting <laughs> yeah, out some tunes. One hundred percent. That's okay. literally the only reason. Uh, literally the only reason. That's a cop out. Anyway, don't care. For for me, mm-hmm. Duck the Hall. Also, I knew you were gonna pick this as number one. Is absolutely number one, and this was a huge surprise because you're like, we're gonna watch these. I'm like, okay, yeah, we've seen some of those, and and this, and you said this was one of them, and I'm like. This is going to be terrible. I haven't seen a Mickey cartoon in years that's been mm-hmm. any good. Like, the classic ones are good. Right. The new ones are usually terrible. And I thought... They're so hard on them. No, no, they are. They're like, they're trying too hard or something. I don't know. But this one hit, like... I don't know who it's for, other than me. Because it's... <laughs> because it's like... It's like Ren and Stimpy crossed with yeah. Mickey. And, yeah. And I don't know. I honestly don't know who that's for. Other but than it's, me. the thing is, it's <laughs> for the the really, really new ones are that style. Yeah. But the, the animation style where it's like retro, mm-hmm. but new retro and the plot and everything is hilarious. I maintain that you are just trying to convince me to celebrate Christmas by the ocean somewhere. Well, that that was a very good theme. You can celebrate Christmas anywhere. Yeah. It's in your heart. Yeah. And you can get a suntan yeah. while celebrating Christmas. I really... Even Santa agrees. <laughs> snow, though. And no, you don't no, need snow. No, no you don't need Santa any of that. Said. Yeah, Santa, Santa said. said. Santa said. Okay, well, my number one is Olaf's Frozen Adventure. And I just... The music actually... So, for me, um, the Mickey Mouse like duck the halls and Olaf's are like the storylines are pretty much on par with each other, but give me some happy music any day. And it like just, it tips it over for me. It it's has, a cr- it's a crutch. You, I don't care. Your it has music, a, sh- your, sh- sh- your music is a no, crutch. No, stop it. You, you no, have, it is part of the storytelling. I'm poking you. Stop it. You have Uncle Scrooge. Okay, Uncle Scrooge is awesome. However, why are you poking me? Because you're just sh- 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 okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I will cede the floor. Okay. To you. All right. So here's the thing. You have three really solid songs in this one. It's not just one. It's three, because because you have the opening song. You have Olaf's song. Happy, merry, joyful. Anyway. And you have that one when we're together. And I don't... Eat. Okay. We watched Duck the Halls. And then we watched Olaf's. Back to back this year, right? We had seen Olaf's Frozen Adventure before. And when we're together started, I got like misty-eyed. And I was like, oh, it's that's really not, sweet. That's, and it's that's like... That's literally <laughs> saying nothing you, but you get misty eyed the holes like, didn't make me misty eyed so clearly i had an emotional response you didn't care when donald died <laughs> donald didn't die though he looked he like he was dead almost died yeah he didn't actually die did didn't they sing t- an emotional song about donald they dying co- they could have but they didn't <laughs> uh, poor so donald. for me it goes all Olaf. he was ready to sacrifice his life for Christmas. No, so he could experience what he thought was Christmas. Right. 
which is not actually Christmas. I guess. Although, I do have to say, the Mickey song at the beginning about that was pretty, that was really good. <laughs> the dulcet baritone. <laughs> well, and and Mickey going back and telling the story of the olden times <laughs> in his With British all, voice. all the throwbacks to Mickey's Christmas Carol oh, it was, was so good. It's so good. It was so good. It's so good. It's so good. It was almost as good as Olaf's Frozen no, Adventure. No, much better, <laughs> which I put at third. <laughs> well, it's cute that you're wrong. No. Yeah, that was fun. Uh-huh. Anyway, these were four fun ones, but I wanted to give a shout-out. That's not on the list. Santa's Workshop wasn't on the list. It was the last one Walt Disney did him, animated himself, and, and he hated terrible. it. And it's terrible, yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> but it's on Disney+. Plus, it is, So I want to give a special shout-out to watch it. <sighs> If you have to. No, 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 no. It's not terrible. Uh, it's just not on the same league as these four, and Disney did not like it himself. But it is the last one that Disney animated himself. Directed. So it deserves a special shout-out. Shout-out! Shout-out for Santa's Workshop. There's some other fun ones on there, but I think those are the four we're recommending this year. That's what Disney recommended, so... Happy, merry, joyful for this, that time of year. So close. <laughs> Almost there. You get a fruitcake. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that went right through me. <laughs> it's so good. Come on. It's well, really I didn't good. say it was bad. Yeah, you ranked it four. Uh, the only one I said was bad is Pluto's. I don't think that's bad. It's, not, it's cute. It's not terrible, but it's well, not good. Well, you're wrong. It's yeah. adorable. It's uh, wonderful. Mm-hmm. All right, so super short episode this week. Well, it was a short episode about, about shorts. About shorts, exactly. But it is the holiday season, and we are going to go get festive now. Woohoo! We're going to go duck the halls. Duck the halls! And find That it. was, okay, I'm going to tell that was really good. That, well, I'm, I'm rating that so high because I was so surprised. Yeah, it was really good. <sighs> like, absolutely shocked, and I was like... They need to make more like that, but I can see why they don't because I I, I also don't know who, who is that, this for. It's it's for you me know, what was personally. It? Oh, the Muppets. Period. The Muppets. We period, said the same yeah. thing. We're like, mm-hmm. besides us, who is this made for? No, you, you need you need this the, the perfect combination of sappy and cynical, mm-hmm. and most people are one or the other. And yeah. I, I'm I'm a combination I'm of both. the two. Yeah, I'm you both are too. you are more much I'm more, more sappy. sappy than mm-hmm. cynical. Much more sappy. But I do Which appreciate. Which one did you rate number one? <laughs> the one? The sappy one. The sappy one. Okay. <laughs> but when we're together. Okay. Yeah. So sappy. <laughs> I'm a mix of the sappy and cynical. No, I'm I'm like Cause, I'm a mix, cause the, but I'm like a seventy five twenty five mix. Yeah, and I'm like fifty fifty. Yeah. You're like ninety ten. Okay, I'll give you ninety ten. <laughs> Very sappy. Eighty uh, twenty? Maybe on a bad day. <laughs> I am really crabby. I'm only twenty percent cynical. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean so, you're not wrong. So I would love to see more than that, more like that. Yeah. But I, I am not holding my breath. I would also like to point out that on my Christmas playlist on Spotify, I have three songs from Olaf's Frozen Adventure. There's only three songs from Olaf's no, Frozen Adventure. No, there's four. <laughs> one is free prize of the other. One. Yeah, that doesn't count. That's that. Is, there's three songs. <laughs> Reprise is is that's just the same song. No, I have well, I okay, but I have three songs. So... Same song with a slightly different beat. <laughs> and words. Mm, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> yes. But yes, a short episode for a short um, that we talked about. So. Yeah, but if you want to get in the Christmas spirit and you want to watch Disney+, Plus, There's lots is, on there. But yeah, there's tons. But these are four excellent quick shot of like Christmas a, like spirits. Like the Muppets Christmas Carol, which we oh ranked Oh my god, number one. Number one. In our episode last That's year. That's true. So if you haven't listened to that, go back and listen to that. Um, really early on in our recording, actually. And yes, we agreed. We actually agreed on something. What the heck? Uh, we agree on a lot we of agree. things. <laughs> but we did agree Muppet's Christmas Carol is the best Christmas movie on Disney+. Plus. Okay, question. Of the shorts and the features, is Muppet's Christmas Carol still the best? Oh, yeah. If you're only going to watch one thing on oh, Disney+, yeah. Plus, mm-hmm. it's not going to be Life Size 2? No. <laughs> no? No. Are you sure? 
Uh, no. Okay, Mupp- you're not sure? No, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Muppets Christmas Carol, watch yeah, that. I will watch Muppets Christmas Carol twice before I watch anything else. I, I'm i not angry at that. Mm. <laughs> I am angry because I remember how you ranked Nightmare Before Christmas. I haven't let it go in a year. <laughs> you need to watch more Frozen then. <laughs> let it go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh but that's our episode for today. Jolly short. <laughs> Jolly and short. <laughs> Thanks to El Mule, who is responsible for the awesome custom theme song that you heard at the top of the show. You can find a link to his work at our website, disneya.wixsite.com slash podcast, where you can also find a link to our social media accounts. We have Instagram, Twitter, Ooh. and Facebook. Ooh, we don't have Tiki Talk. We don't have the Tiki Talkies. Do you know why? Because I'm too old for that. Because we are not 19. No. I, <laughs> uh, the 19-year-olds don't even know what a Christmas carol is. Oh, my. Okay. 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 So, I understand. Generational issues. Aside. We have issues. So, as I've said, I teach English. And I'm pretty hip and with it. Well, no. But. No. I no. understand the references, at least. Mm. I was teaching. Shut up. I was showing my students the man who invented Christmas and a bunch of them didn't know what a Christmas carol was. So I went around and I asked all of the kids what a Christmas carol was. 15 year olds. And that they said is jingle the line. Bells. They were like, what, like a song or whatever. They didn't know who tiny Tim was. They didn't know who Ebenezer Scrooge was. So everyone listening has homework. If you don't know what a Christmas carol is, you have to go watch A Christmas Carol. I don't care which version. I was going to be much more harsh than that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was cool. going to be like, you need to go look at yourself in the mirror <laughs> and think about what you've done with your life. <laughs> <laughs> what you haven't done with your life, yeah. more likely. Yeah, everyone has homework. Learn to be a better Christmas caroler. That was... Yeah. It really upset me. And the th- crazy thing is the older high school kids know what it is, 100%. It's like this weird, there's like a very strong line in the sand, and it's about age 15. They don't know what it is. So, and I can o- I only realize this today, and so I'm trying to frantically show and summarize this to as many people as possible, but I can only do so much. <laughs> yeah, and we figured it out, like, 15, 16 years ago, that's about when... Facebook started becoming popular. So basically, it's Mark Zuckerberg's fault. It's all Mark Zuckerberg's fault. That kids don't know what, what Christmas Carol is. No culture today. None. Yeah. Okay, so if you are but listening... visit us on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> and rate, rate and review our show, possibly on Facebook. Possibly. If, but preferably on Apple Podcasts. Yes. I'm so laughing. That was such a good sagui. Sagui. <laughs> and if you know someone who might like listening to us, be sure to recommend Disney A to them as well. Maybe I'll... pick a different episode than this one Why? for their first one. Why? Um, but yes, recommend us. But also get make sure they know what a Christmas Carol is. Yeah, I mean that's a that's step one. Yes. It, Otherwise, you need to get recommend them... Christmas Carol to them first, right. and then Disney A. You can recommend our episode where we recommend a Christmas Carol. Hmm. 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 Ooh, that's very meta. Whoa. No, that's the new name of Facebook, actually. Whoa. <laughs> Meta. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We're also on Magic the Mouse Radio, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern. Magic the Mouse Radio can be found on most radio station apps. Next week, we're doing Disney A Rap 2021. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Like wrapped, like uh, like Spotify. Oh, that's different. But like a present. Well, no, we're just doing a year in review. Sweet, I like years in reviews. And it was the year of Marvel, so we're probably going to talk about Marvel. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of Marvel. Discussion. A lot of Marvel. Yes, our highs, our lows, and our hopes for 2022. Travel? That question be, mark. That would be lovely. Maybe not. No, we're going to freaking travel. Oh, God. Anyway. No, traveling. <sighs> <laughs> but no, we're jolly and no, short. We're, we're jolly and short. Yes, jolly and short, jolly and short. So if you have something that really stood out to you this year, mm-hmm. or something you really can't wait to see or do next year, like, I don't know, some other Marvel movies. That was probably Marvel coming out. Probably Marvel. Probably some Marvel. Maybe some... Star Wars, Disney Plus shows. Question mark. 
There's got to be another season of Mandalorian coming. Well, there's that. And right at the end of 2021, we are starting Boba Fett. Yes, we are. So You didn't have that in your news either. I no, no, no. I was actually thinking we could talk episode. about that next episode. next episode. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Because we'll be leading into Boba Fett, right? Yes, we will. <laughs> I am Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Okay. But until then, I'm Brandon. And I'm Krista. Until that next adventure, TTFN, ta-ta for now. And Merry Christmas! Oh, Merry Christmas! Thanks for listening to Disney A. Eh? Ah, <laughs> uh, poor so Don. He was ready to sacrifice his life for Christmas. No. <laughs>